Hello everybody and welcome back to my Let's Play of Dark Souls 2, Scholar of the First Sin. Today, we're pushing forward. As we saw in the last video, I have now gotten to where I have to go and meet Vendrick. So, oh crap. There we go. First, let's get past these Falconeer Knights. Tough little buggers, but not the worst. Now, where we are heading is actually going to be very important for two reasons. Because after this, I need to make a backtrack to two other areas. Holy crap. Yeah, Falcon Ear Knights don't mess around. Those son of a guns are tough. But, <sighs> I've got humanity to spare. Oh, right, but I forgot something. So I went and checked. I actually don't even need these. Ah, so free souls. Neither of them gave me any hexes, so not even worth my time. I feel like there's a boss at some point that gives you a hex, but that's besides the point. Now, the reason we're taking the left path is that's the path to Vingar. Well, Vendrick. The other path, we have to go to meet Vendrick first to get something else to go there. It's kind of a you go one path to go one way, you go one path to go another. Kind of all just ties together in the end. You know, if you know what you're doing. Oh yeah, I also upgraded my staff to Twinkling Titanite plus four. I need five more Twinkling Titanite and then I've got this thing maxed out. And as you can see, that staff is cracking damage right now. Like, no joke, this thing is dangerous. Oh, two Twinkling Titanite. Heck yeah! That puts me three away from having it maxed out. Now we head down this way, and you see that thing right there? That is not another person's spirit. That's one of these invisible pricks. Oh yeah, one of these rotten son of a guns. Yeah, and they are very aggressive. So let's back up. Life gem not once, but twice. And then deal with this guy personally. No, you're not getting behind me just to backstab me. Now die. Freaking heretic. Ah, much better. So let's grab this. The Dragon Slayer's Crescent Axe and the Golden Falconeer uh, Shield. Now if we would have came here earlier, this area would have been blocked off. But now, because we've actually gotten all four of the Primal Souls, we can pass on through. Let's drop down here, and I'm going to back loop a little. Because I knew there was an item here. A soul of a hero. Speaking of... Burn that. And burn this. I need to go back and get those simpleton spices in use, but for now, let's do this. Yep, we're in inviso bo well, inviso enemy territory. Thankfully, some of them are pretty easy to handle if you have the stamina to do so. Thankfully. Stamina is not much of an issue with the shield. Human effigy, large name of an undead soul. And let's keep moving. I can't remember. Is this the way that also has the really annoying boss, or is this straight to the castle? I'm one to think it's straight to the castle, but I've been wrong before. 
Oh yeah, it has these guys. Oh crap! Ah, oh, good news. Got two of them. Royal swordsman here. Oh. Oh wait, no, that's a spirit. Ah, oh, panic. Yeah, this area has been known to kill people. I've, if you didn't notice all the blood piles. Dranglaic Castle. Hey, no, no. You get back here. You get back here, you little heathen. Titanite Slab and Titanite Chunk. Okay, there we go. Also, I've this got my spear up to 15. But nonetheless, you must forge on. To bring an end to your journey and mine. Oh yeah, she just stops talking to us after that. Yeah, yeah. Into your journey and your, mine. I'm not stupid. I know these are not... Yeah, I'm not stupid. I knew that what they were. Anyone with a lick of common sense would have realized those were enemies. Let's scatterbolt them. Dead gummit! Ah. <sighs> I forget the farther we go, the harder they hit. And we respawn all the way back here. Frickin' joy. You know, I'm not wasting another humanity. I'm just gonna haul it. And by haul it, I mean I'm gonna kill everything in my path. Just because I know I'm not dealing with this crap. Yeah, plus four to the this staff, and I'm already laying waste to anything in my way. Just saying, this thing can is kind of busted. No. You get shot in the back. And you get shot in the face. Dark weapon to deal with dumb and dumber down here. Also a radiant life gem, just because I need the health. Although, if I can get past him without triggering him... Did I? I did! Awesome. That means I don't have to deal with him now. This is why I bought a lot of life gems. The Shrine of Winter, aka one of the three DLC shrines. As much as I hate to say it, we're gonna do them in order. Reason I hate to say it, I hate the first shrine that we have to do. I'd rather do the shrine of the Iron Keep and the Frozen one. At least they're fair in some regards. I say fair like any of the DLCs are fair. But if I have to give any credit, at least DLC 2 and 3 are manageable. I wouldn't say they're fair, but I'd say they're at least manageable. DLC 1 is an absolute crap hole. With no redeeming qualities. But... I guess that's the one thing I can give credit to. They at least improved with the two second, well, the second and the third DLC. Still never going to get up to the quality of Dark Souls 3's DLCs or Dark Souls 1 only DLC. But hey, what can I say? At least they tried to improve after the first one. Again, I'm not stupid. Let's see if I can trigger just one of you. Or kill one of you first. That works too. Oh, 
Oh wow, that actually worked. Don't ask me how. I openly have no idea how that worked. Now let's clear out these guys real quick. Before heading to the door. You gotta open the door. You gotta kill an enemy near these things. Thankfully, that's easier said than done. Oh, right. Some of these are not statues. Whoo-hoo, let me just... Oh, more of you guys. Okay, hold on. Oh yeah, that's the sound of the gates opening. Sit down! The Sion's leggings. Now I'm gonna make sure I get all the ones that are not statues. Yep, there you are. I knew there was another one. Ah. Does wonders. Yeah, I'm going to rate that one, because that actually surprised me. I didn't know that was a thing. Let's do this. Oh, yeah, there's one with a spear. Now I remember. And that's two. And he doesn't become anything. And that one's not a mimic, so... <sighs> I've gotten so used to mimic checking anymore that it's just instinct. Thank you, boys, for doing your job very well. Now let's head up here first and talk to this guy. Who are you? And by whose permission do you stand before me? This castle is the domain of King Vendrick. Is your trespass intentional? His Highness. Where has he gone? You are a guest of our castle. I am the Chancellor. Do you seek an audience? Unfortunately, my lord, the Queen has taken him. My lord made magnificent findings on souls. An accomplishment for the ages. He vanquished the four great ones. And our king has watched over this King Vendrick. We must fight back. The king had a dear queen. Long ago, the queen came to us. She warned our lord of the looming threat across the seas. Of the, the king crossed the ocean. The king, with the golems, the king created this castle to celebrate victory and to show his love. The queen brought peace to this land and to her king. A peace so deep, it was like the dark. Is this where am I? Who are you, and by whose permission? Welcome, our guests are treated. Tell me if you... Yeah, he's slowly losing his mind. He's a nice guy, but he's not all there, if you will. My lord, even our king fan, Bonsos, he say. He's not a bad guy, just kind of fruity. 
And I don't mean that kind of fruity. I mean the kind that's kind of uh, off his rocker. Now this area will introduce a new type of enemy. Keep an eye on those mirrors. Let's get rid of you. Yep, I knew it. Get rid of you, which I think... Ooh, yeah, green blossom. I'm going up to each of these statues just to make sure and clear them out. <sighs> I know these knights are just doing their job and all, but... They are annoying. Sorry, big guy. Gotta put you to sleep. Let's open this up. And get this chest. Huh, I'm surprised we're not seeing the enemies yet. Ooh, Sublime Bone Dust. Not what I was expecting, but... I mean, I should have been expecting it at the same time. Now let's open this one. I think this one leads me forward. Nope. Not stupid. Not falling for it. I knew one of those was a trap. Yep, this one leads forward. I'm checking all these because I know one of these is going to be a trap. Okay, none of them are traps. We'll go there later. But for now, let's open this up and get the bonfire. Because there's something else we need here. Let's see. Anything else I can do? Not yet. So let's cast Dark Weapon. get rid of you, which will open this door. I don't remember which one's behind which door, so by all accounts I'm going to have to, oh, this is the one with the flexile, well, the uh, sentinel. Which, bad news, these things do respawn. Which leads to problems. Okay. This is definitely going to be a hard fought fight. Involving a lot of power. Stone Soldier Spear. What's in this one? Another Ruined Sentinel. 
but also an item. Not what I'm looking for, though. I need to get this one right between the two. Oh crap. Let's back up and heal. Wait, wrong one. use their souls to power the torch. As I mentioned, I always have a plan. of judgment. Oh, that's the farm set. What's the farm set? Oh yeah, that's the guy who used to be, uh, well, who is the greeter. Now this is an area that having the, uh, flame butterflies is going to be your best friend. Hey, old guy. We meet again, young undead. You have the look of a true seeker. I am Dark Diver Grandal, seeker of dark, giver of dark. If you seek true dark, I will grant it to you as much as you desire. Well then. This is the covenant we need. The Pilgrims of the Dark. There you are. You want the dark? Those? Fight not yeah. Let's first see what he has to sell. Dark Orb, Dark Hail, Dark Storm, and Profound Still. He also sells Bonfire Statics. May the dark. Let's pop one of these and head into the dark. Technically, we are an invader here. But at the same time, we're not. We are a dark specter. And be careful where you step. Which is why a torch is actually kind of useful here. And I'm going to actually pop one of my flame butterflies. Just to see where you're going. Because to be honest, I can't see crap. I'm also going to be smart. And swap my spell casting to this hand. Now, why this is important? What the? Rude. But I forgot that's a thing. Is this? Hovel Knights. Actually, three enemies. Yeah, let's back up here. A 
Let's back up a lot here. Yeah, this area is very tricky. Uh, let's first pop another one of these. And let's equip something different. Sorry, Silver Cat's Ring, don't need you. Pilgrims of the Dark Ring. Now, you're probably wondering, what does that ring do? It actually has a very, very unique effect if I have it equipped. If I am to use a hex when I have it equipped, Fight not yet. The most of if Oh yeah, anytime you want to open this up, you have to give him an effigy. Now, the whole end goal of this area is to light a torch in all three of the locations. Yeah, your souls stay here. They don't stay at the entrance. So just a heads up on that. But how this works is actually a unique case. You see how I'm losing health, but I'm doing much more damage? That's the power of the Covenant Ring. Which is why I have Life Gems. You also gotta kill those before you can light them as well. Because they block the entryway to it. So I'm going to take the ability to lose a little bit of health but do more damage and just run with it. That's a trap. Oh yeah, that's probably the exit, which means I went the wrong way. I'm saving my flame butterflies because that's the only way to... Oh, wow, you hurt. You hurt a lot! Frickin' dang. Hmm, okay. So, we now see the problem. Now it's time to solve the problem. Before I run out of effigies. Let's move this back to my second slot. Covenant Silver Serpent Ring. I'm going to actually... Hmm... I'll need that for later. So I'm going to, yeah, keep the Ring of Sacrifice on right now. Just for the sheer fact that if I die, I'd rather have an ability to just get all my crap back. Fact not yeah. I'm already in the covenant. <sighs> now let's head down. We're going to get this. It's going to take a minute, maybe, but we're going to get it. Now, there is a way to knock them off and everything, but it's not reliable. Oh, crap. 
Backing up. Bang, 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 bang. Now let's heal with Estus. Now the first one, I'm not worried about if I'm using Estus or not. Because the first one is honestly just, oh, okay, here's what you need to do. The second one is, okay, a little bit more challenging, but it's all, I know what I need to do. And the third one is where the problems come in. Oh, crap. Juke and jive, juke and jive, juke and jive. Get back here. And get rid of you. He, that one blocks the exit. This one blocks where I need to go. I think. Yeah, this one blocks where I need to go. Or does this one also block the exit? Ah, it blocks both. Now pop a flame butterfly. And set a light to the darkness. Now we run all the way back and kill the other one. Alright, let's get rid of you and get this crap rolling. And you're gone. Got my stuff back. And the exit. Now you're probably thinking, oh, that's death. No, it's not. Not this time, anyways. Now we have to go back to the other two areas. Well, for each one you clear. Young undead, let us see. You have seen what once was a great, but slowly, it is we. Oh, I thought he sold better stuff, too. May the dark. So, now that we've cleared that out... Oh, yeah, the enemies will respawn afterwards. So, just a heads up on that. So, let's then go here. And I'm actually going to do the worst of the two first. The Black Gulch. Now this is an optional boss. Well, it will lead to an optional boss. Let me just say that. Dodge all those. Think it yeah, it's here. take a plunge into the dark. This one's a little bit different. Well, actually, all of them are a little bit different, but of course. They also have different enemies. This one has a double club user and a cleric. And a pyromancer. I about forgot about him. None of them are as threatening as the first set. But the issue is with the pyromancer is locking on to him. You have to be much closer than you originally thought you would have to be. 
Oh yeah, it's got one of those things too. So I'm gonna back up, chug some Estus, and get rid of you. Crap! Dad gum. Okay, got rid of him. Oh my gosh. Oh yeah, it can heal itself. That's a problem. No. No. There. Plunge down into the depths. I don't remember which direction I need to go, so I'm going to check this way first. It's the other way, okay. Yeah, some people would see that and be like, oh, yay, fire, and miss the absolute punchline of a draw. But, now here's a catch with this. Just because we lit it does not mean we can die and leave. We actually have to exit, or all our progress is reset. So, yeah... Double hammer boy here. And his, his burn need to pass as well. Thankfully, with hexes, minus them chugging my own health. Ah, crap, and another cleric witch. Let's back up and heal. Get rid of you. And then get rid of you with no time to spare. Anything down here of importance? No, no, there's not. Awesome. We can leave. Anytime you see that fog, it's the exit. Now, the third one... That's where things get complex. Fine. No. Young. You know what, let's buy those, and buy two of those. Actually, I think if I talk to him, he gives me some stuff. No, no, he does not. No, it's not until you finish it, he does. Ooh. I forgot it also emits a weird noise that kills your eardrums. But now let's go to the last one. No, not there. It's not there either. Where is it? No, yeah. Yeah, it is. Shaded Ruins. I forgot the one right after the boss is a lot longer distance, or I'd go for it. However, I can kind of cheese this one. How? Just keep sprinting. We'll try to catch up, but by the time you're in there, it's over. Avoid you and keep running. Drop down the hole. Fine, not yeah. Give an effigy. Yeah. May the dot. This is the final challenge. And no, I don't mean another dungeon. Actually, so many people didn't know this boss existed. 
until months after the game actually, you know, came out. But yes, this is a boss location. Very dark, very dreary, and very dangerous. Let's get rid of you first. And let's retreat back here to heal. Actually, I just looked up those things' names. They're known as uh, Lich Clerics. So I'm half right. They are clerics, but they're liches. Oh. Wasn't my plan, but I'll take it. Backstab these things? Wow, that makes my job easier. And you're probably thinking, wow, this seems like the shortest one. Well, there's a lot of reason people do this one first. I do it last because it's short. But don't think just because it's short, it's easy. You're about to see why this one's also the most dangerous, because it's the third one. Now let's take the elevator down. <sighs> and get ready to pray, because this is not going to be easy. First off, yeah, we got another one of these. Which, this is not the problem. By all accounts, dealing with this is not hard. Pick up item, bonfire aesthetic. No, 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 no. Yeah. You see how it says be wary of boss? <sighs> They're not kidding. And I'm going to be smart and pop two of these. Fully restore all my spell uses. Here we go. The Dark Lurker. Yeah, hexes don't do a lot of damage to this thing. But ironically, neither does physical. Oh! -ho. This is also where having these come in handy. vanishes. Keep an eye out, because as soon as it respawns, get ready, start blasting. Now, I'm trying to kill this boss as quick as possible, because its phase two is highly dangerous. For that reason. There's two of them now. They share the same health bar, thankfully, so you can attack either of them. But it's the problem that now you got one slinging spells. Well, you've also got a heal now. Oh yeah, this attack. Whew. Mm -hmm. 
Yep. <sighs> but I saved all my souls. And you know the worst part about that? Other than we spawn right here is another issue. We gotta go through that entire dungeon part again to fight that thing. Ah. Uh. Yeah, I'm gonna go do something real quick to make this easier. First off, not you, you. Burn you. Strengthen that. And let's check something. Inventory. Two Twinkling Titanite. Not what I need. How many Titanite chunks do I have? Three. I need... Oh, I might be able to max out one of my armors. Let me check. Yeah, Staff of Wisdom, really good, etc. I might actually be able to get this upgraded a little bit. Hold on. No, I cannot. Okay. Um, armor. Here we go. Okay, I upgraded my armor just a little. How much do I need for this? I need five. What about my catalyst? Oh, my catalyst is already maxed out. I'll be around. Now, I know the Dark Lurker soul we're going to trade for a boss thing. I do know that. And the only reason I know that is because I know what that boss thing is. That is either a really great weapon or a really, really great... Uh, what is it? Not soul. Is it soul? I think it's soul. Uh, spell. Ugh, brain. And yeah, you also noticed I equipped a ring I probably should have sooner. Yeah, I'm a little bit dense and I didn't think, hey, let's equip the ring that reduces dark damage. <sighs> yeah, that was my fault. I'm not even going to lie. I paid for that one on my own part. Hey, old guy. I knew there is dark. Great resonant soul. You sell anything better? No? Because I still gotta go fight the boss. Yeah. Uh, lighting all three of the torches deepens your covenant. However, what we need is at the bottom. The Dark Chasm of Old. Yeah, Dark Chasm of Pain is what we're talking more of it. G good grief, this thing's a headache. Good news is that torch is lit. Bad news is we still gotta kill these things. But Ow. Freaking in Crap. Double chug and get ready for anything that passes into that line of fire. I'm hitting it with spells as quick as possible. Die. Dead. Bonfire aesthetic. Not bad. Note to self, send this back up next time. I'm also going to eat one of these. Refill my dark orbs. Because this is a fight that I need to make sure I'm ready for. This spear is not really going to do much for me, so I'm going to swap this over to my first hand. Oh, right. 
Let's kill you off real quick. Use a life gem. <sighs> Yeet! Now, I take reduced dark damage, which means I should have a little bit better time against this boss. I say that with very much not sure. Because it also does that. Run underneath them so that can't hit me. And then just cast spells. Hit Blank Dark Hail. Oh, that's new. Let's chug an Estus real quick. Chug another Estus. And spell spam the crap out of you. I don't care if it eats my health. Oh, he's splitting the two. Crap. I need to try to keep these two in lock. And by in lock, I mean I need to keep them in front of me. So then I can see what the other one's trying to do. Although, with both of them getting close, I can try this. What's my stats? Hold on. 140. Well, folks, I think I may need to go do a few things before I can actually beat this boss. Uh, actually, let me check my spells. Dark Hail's not going to work, and neither is Dark Weapon. Scraps of life, that allows me to heal. Affinity. Need to lower how much did that cost, but that could work in my favor. Wait, it takes three for affinity? Jesus Christ. But I think affinity might actually also help me a lot. So, affinity... Right Resonant Soul, and Dark Orbs. Alright folks, next time we'll see if I can actually beat the Dark Lurker. But until next time, if you like the video, please like, subscribe, share with your friends. And rest easy, adventurers.